Hi, I'm Zach Savakul, uh, head coach of the girls' soccer team. Uh, I'd just like to take this time to congratulate our seniors of the class 2020 for an excellent year. Uh, we had eight seniors in total this year, and each one contributed to this team uh, in an outstanding way. Uh, Katie McCune had a horrible injury last year and she fought all year to come back on the field um, and was a presence in every single game this year and anchored the back line and did an excellent job. Emma McGee showed huge improvement from last year um, and was a presence on the outside of the field the entire season and she did a great job. And finally, Katie Clayton, um, who was the leader on this team for the last two years, uh, always puts in the most effort of any player on the field. Um, and I don't know how we're gonna <laughs> deal without her next year. Um, next, I'd like to congratulate Lexi Kayafis. Um, in terms of offensive output, she scored double digit goals, in including some absolute screamers from outside of the box. It was great to watch her play. And most specifically, it was great to see her improve um, from last year to this year. Uh, I know she put in the work, you put in the work uh, in countless hours of practice and me and Coach Alex and Coach Ryan really appreciate the amount of work you did off the field to get to where you were this year. So for that reason, the team voted you as the most improved player this year. Congratulations, Lex. Our fourth, year, uh, our fourth senior this year is Ka uh, Katie McLaughlin. She played keeper for us and is probably one of the most excellent goalkeepers that I've ever uh, had the pleasure of coaching or coaching against. Um, and she's going to play at Rutgers Newark next year in the NJAC and is gonna absolutely light it up. And she was the recipient of our Defender of the Year award this year, well-deserved. Um, our Offensive Player of the Year this year was Jules Laskowskis, obviously. Um, she led the team in scoring and this year was also voted the Short Conference Player of the Decade, um, which is an extraordinarily well-deserved award for her. Um, there are, you know, a handful of people who can actually do the things that she do, she does, excuse me, with the ball on the field. Um, and she was voted our Offensive Player of the Year this year. <clears throat> um, our MVP for two years in a row was Julie V, um, who's another excellent player uh, a workhorse on both the defensive and offensive side of the ball, uh, came up with some clutch goals towards the end of the year to move us on in the playoffs. And it was well deserving that she was voted our MVP two years in a row. Congratulations, Jill. Um, and finally, uh, we have Celia Tave, who also uh, fulfilled like all their potential this year. She did an absolutely great job and saw great improvement over the year, playing multiple different positions across the back line. She displayed uh, incredible resilience in practice, in games, especially in the beginning of the year when she was unhappy with her playing time. And after the first game or two of the season, uh, I think she played every single meaningful minute of the last season. And for that reason, she was awarded the John Sherrick Card Award this year. Congratulations, Seal. Um, so to the entire class of 2020, um, especially the girls on the St. Rose soccer team, uh, I wish I could be there to congratulate you guys in, per uh, in person, but great season, and I know you'll all be successful in whatever you choose to pursue afterwards. Congratulations, girls.